on. Oh, we're our live. It's Alicia Stream here, always empowering success streams. I am so excited to introduce myself out here in the hills of Tennessee. Literally, I decided to take a step outside today in the. I guess you can see the pond behind me pretty full. <laughs> I might be in the shadows, and I have my good friend Ken, and he's out Hi. there in California with a sunny day. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Ken. Hey guys, nice to meet you. Yes, this is Ken Picker, the Network Dad, the Syndication Godfather. I think somebody gave me another title somewhere that was really cool, but that's whatever. But yeah, it's a gorgeous day today. I can't wait to get out and play a little bit as well. Yeah, you gotta find a cool out spot to do hangouts outside. Then it's pretty cool today because right. I remember in Texas it was just unbearably too hot. You would have to have a sunroom with like a fan going and there would be no way you could sit outside in the heat. Right. <laughs> but this is like it's the air and you got the breeze. You got to find a nice cool spot. Is it too hot where you live to hang out outside? No, it's pretty cool. Um, it's actually, I have this super huge tree in the backyard. Um, it's probably biggest around because they topped it 30 years ago and they grew a bunch of new sprouts. So it's very nice and shady out there. Um, very cool. And here in where I'm at in Santa Clara, actually, I'm just like, I don't know, a couple miles from the very bottom of the delta of the bay for the San Francisco Bay. So it's always a little bit breezy, always. So if it's like 90 or 85, which is hot to me, then it's uh, then it, the breeze is really nice. So... The only problem, I did, used to do a lot of videos outside, and I would have to wait until the wind died down, because you'd always hear the wind going right around the camera and stuff, so, but, you know, occupational hazards, right? <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> you have to play in that environment. <laughs> yeah. Very sure. And I and I feel that um, the, these products, um, the lot that I recommend has really, truly changed my um Outlook and environment, and there's so many people. We're going to talk about what did I title it today? Leverage. Um, I have to look at my Facebook event because I think that was a pretty cool title that I said. Um, okay. Talk about leverage resources, establish online credibility, and crush your competition. And when um, so that's the topic again. If you didn't know, <laughs> that's what we're talking about and, today. Um, I get it. I'm with it. No, I, I already there you know. go. <laughs> Just so you know, yeah. <laughs> we're hanging out today on the leverage resources. I found that this resource really, truly gave me a way. Tell me if I go out or something. Let's just see my picture. Um, a way to change my environment. You know, I started um, inside this business about eight years ago, and I didn't realize. Um, I just wanted to learn marketing, and I wanted to learn how to make money, right? And um, of course, I wanted to have that time freedom with my daughter and didn't realize how important that mindset was on my business um, to learn until about, oh, I majorly dived into it uh, three or four years ago. So I really, I mean, I knew a little bit about it, but didn't realize how important um, it was that really changed my life because I went from, um, you know, I was down in Texas. Well, we were in Georgia, then we moved to Texas, and um, really trying to put things in order. And it really kind of woke me up the way that um, it there's just environments around me that I couldn't, that I needed to eliminate. And I realized that you can't perform, you can't do your best in front of your business when you're around a, a tough environment that's too stressful or that's always degrading and I made the decision through this um, business with all that to make that change I'm now here out in the country and free <laughs> and, and now um, really focused and so driven to share the wonderful opportunities we have um, with everybody so I wanted to start that relationship with you guys if you've been in a place where you're just under this stress like all the time you're always make trying to make it happen or getting something to work and something stopping you um, that was something I couldn't be aware until I went to an event and just saw it like plain blue sight um, that this was something that I needed to take care of <laughs> so I I was able to change that in my life tell me Ken where did you kind of get started and in, in this industry because you've been around for a long time probably longer than I have and what kind of made you just change and saw that um, that you're going to be consistent, like no matter what, because I've been, um, 
um, network with a lot of people. It seems like you've been one of the most consistent people I've seen out there on the internet and how you do promotions. The um, you know that's interesting that you say that because sometimes I feel like I'm not consistent with certain things, but I I show up every day. Um, you know, and so it's just that fact of showing up every day. I I heard this. I've been in the industry. Well, let me step back. I've been in the, in the network or MLM space on and off for 20 years. I started with Amway. Um, you know, not too long out of high school or whatever. A friend got me in, and what was so funny is he says, "Yeah, just show up for a for a meeting. It's just going to be a casual, you know, kind of thing." And I said, "Okay, I have these shorts that were just wild and crazy Hawaiian surf kind of shorts and a t-shirt." And I walk into this room, and there's this my friend in a suit with the whiteboard, and then his sponsor in a full-on suit, like a two thousand dollar suit, next to the whiteboard. And I'm like, I almost I I turn around and walked away. I wanted to. My wife was with me. And she's like, "No, no, no, we're going to see." I felt so out of place. I'm like, it's a business meeting. I had no clue what business was. So there was my first introduction. But what I saw as far as the networking opportunity was that leverage. It's like you basically the concept was you can buy from yourself and and save money, and then you can also make money by telling a few other people. That light bulb went off that night. And we got in, bought the little package, and saved up by a little bit more. And we hustled. I mean, we hustled so much. I think we brought in like five people in three and a half years. I mean, it was we were just tearing up records, right, left and right. But here's the, <laughs> so no, obviously not really. That was my first introduction. <laughs> hey, but every week we showed up. We you know we we went to the events. We learned. I I learned how to chase people down the street around the corner. I learned how to find people at gas stations. I learned all kinds of cool stuff, but what it was all outside stuff, you know. And then I went to the next deal, and then I and I forget this, this isn't working. And then a couple of years later, I went to the next deal. I'm like, no, this isn't working, until I realized the biggest stuff I needed to change was me. And the one tip that somewhere along this last 20 years, probably more like 10, 10, 12 years ago, somebody said, "Be here a year from now." He was out on the stage, and there was about 500 people, 800 people in the room. And he made this story. He says, like, he's looking around and he says, I know that the table right there in the back, and it happened to be the leader's table, those people have been here for five plus years. And those people over there have been there for four years. And everybody else has been here in less than a year. He says, here's the secret. That table back there, average, you know, half a million dollars a year. That table back there, average, quarter million dollars a year. He says, here's what I told him five years ago. Be here a year from now. So that one clue stuck in. You don't know how many hundreds you spend to get to an event, but if you take one thing away and apply it, that makes all the difference. Now, fast forward to today, what we're here leveraging concepts, and we're going to give you some really good information. I got some stories around syndication and, and all kinds of stuff that you guys can take with you. And I know uh, Alicia has a bunch of stuff. We'll come back back and forth. But the concept is right off the bat, you have to commit to be here no matter how long. It's not a 30-day race. It's not a 90-day race. It's not even a one-year race. Be here, commit. And here's the second nugget I'm going to get, I'm going to, we'll drip into later, and I'm going to turn it right back to Alicia, is when you get something like that, apply it. Because we've told, we've taught hundreds of people blogging tips, and so they're blogging, 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 and then they're saying, I'm not making any money. And I said, well, what's that blog doing for you? I look at their blog. There's no engagement. There's no syndication. I said, I showed you all that stuff. All you're doing is putting stuff out there, but you're not marketing it. So one thing, be here a year, uh, you know, at least a year from now. Commit and apply what we're going to teach you. And I tell you what, I guarantee that application is going to make the biggest difference. So, But anyway, I can go on for days. So, Alicia, I'll turn it back over to you and uh, to help kick this off. Yeah, that was the, the one secret I wanted to really lay out first because not only do we have a story that um, history, you know, being around, but also there's companies, there are different deals, there's stuff that comes through, that shiny ball syndrome that we all get going, is this going to work better than this other strategy? And what shows up is you showing up in your business, doing something consistent no matter what event, um, testing deal went good, whether you had two viewers or 20 viewers, that um, you got to be around. So what we're going to share with you is not only do you have to have an online presence with the blog um, showing who you are through whatever you're doing, promotions and being who you are, leadership or 
um, um, so many blogs, I think Ken can tell you um, over three blogs, five blogs of <laughs> different topics he does. And then um, not only you is using that, but having a strategy plan um, to get known. What was the topic again? Leverage resources. Is establish online credibility and crush your competition. And you're going to crush your competition by showing who you are and being um, your wealth of syndication. So I want to share with you um, my little steps of what I do of a share plan. And this was shared back in the last event I went to in New Orleans and I kind of customized it for me so if people want to know what exactly does she share that I can see her everywhere because she has so many videos out there so much content what is Alicia's secret because I want to know how she's out getting out there and um, there's one thing of getting out there and one thing of um, getting more social like um, Ken says so we're kind of feeding back and there's some more tools and some more things I'm going to apply to my basic structure so you have to start off with a plan that you're doing first and then build on that once you because I think I've cha changed my share plan um, I kind of test it for a month or test it for two weeks and see was that working right and then either add more or or edit it. You know, I am just an organized woman, so I do everything like on routine. I have to be set on what am I doing first, what am I doing second, what am I doing next, and you know, everything. Some people are like that. Some people go, oh, I can just go and do that. <laughs> so I'm just going to share um, one thing, um, one step for you. I don't know whether to show my screen or just, um, just tell it in bullets. Um, if, if you need to show my screen, Ken, maybe you can tell me, maybe you should share the screen, I don't know. But one of the first things I do is I have like a reblog on my um, blog. So if you go to aliciastringer.com and you hit reblog, there's um, several Facebook groups that I go in first. Now, there are people that go in there every day and are religious about it and do this in their sh in their screen their share plan and I will be honest and say I'm doing good to do that three to five times a week I'm getting up to three maybe <laughs> I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent but you know you gotta have this routine and you're saying did I do this today okay I think that's how you're gonna go back and be consistent so I go into that Facebook group or there's probably a couple you can probably get into Ken might have some better um, syndication groups they go into. There's one specifically on blog commenting. So if you put your blog in there um, and you have to go up to this comment stream for other people's blog and comment back on theirs and people are going to comment on yours. And if you get a good five or so comments, I think you've started your social syndication where maybe it might can go a little bit more viral. So there's one for blog and one for YouTube, specifically. Make sure you put your YouTube video in there. Same thing, put your YouTube video and comment on maybe five more up there. Or comment on five and then um, put your your YouTube comment. Most Make sure you get that done. So that's one of the first things I do in Facebook. Another thing I do, number two, so write these lists down. <laughs> want to do the next list is I go into my page and there's a place to make some notes and what I do in the Facebook notes is um, copy a, a snippet of my blog or maybe a little description about my video or something and something that maybe keyword topics so that would pick up people something be attractable so kind of test your copywriting skills of what you want to put in your Facebook notes and add that to your your fan page and you can bold it you can add hyperlinks and so the Facebook notes are very key that picks up more in the search engines so I do that second so I go in the Facebook groups and Kate I go in the notes and then of course I share it on my page or share it on my profile um, and stuff like that. We need to get a syndication group for notes. That would be pretty cool. But I don't share other than that because it kind of picks up from Google. And then the third thing I do is I go into um, targeted social networks. I really like um, Better Networker. Ken may say he likes TriPro. Um, every niche is a little different. This is pretty much marketing. 
And I've seen a few results um, inside of Better Networker. I need to really work in there and get um, learn some more of the people there. And I might hit back Tried Pro because there's some really great people that are in those tight social networking systems. And I go and do the same thing. I share a, a YouTube video and share a blog post, and then I try to connect with you know three to five more people and either guest post, comment, add them, um, just try to reach out to them some way in that one. So that's the third thing I do. Um, the fourth thing after that is um, I kind of reshare the content that I use on Traffic Geyser. And that really has like a whole routine itself. <laughs> and it was a learning curve. And that's why I'm so glad I have Ken out because we've been kind of using it together. And it takes kind of a group. There's um, 20 different profiles you can create within one account and what I mean by profile is like 20 different YouTube accounts. <laughs> so we've leveraged, we don't have, um, I actually do have like 40 Gmail accounts. I'm not sure how many YouTube channels we have, but I have at least 10. <laughs> and you Always testing, through, always testing. Yeah, always testing those channels, right? <laughs> I've lost a few through the years, so I always had that backup, right? <laughs> kind of like some people have their backup Facebook accounts and they're doing marketing on that. You know, it's just kind of mm -hmm. debating on what you have out there. So <laughs> you have that many accounts, and I and I don't like hook them together because if one went down, I don't want the rest of them go to go down. So there's re reasons I do certain things, but I'm still learning that YouTube traffic, and there's some steps that I do in that. So I upload the video in there, I share the video on all those different profiles because it goes out to Meta Cafe, Daily Motion. Um, those are the main ones that do pick up in the search engines, and I get some crazy ones some sometimes that do pick up in the search engines. Now, oh, I put it there. I video or something. There's some other ones that do um, pick up in the search engines that rank my video. So I do the keyword in my um, keyword in the file name, keyword in the title, and the description is the first thing I do, and have a link to my capture page. So it's pretty simple on the what I put in the description, and I schedule it out. Now I was doing a massive schedule. I was doing this last month. I had five channels going, one video out per day. And then this month I said, oh, I'm going to take a little break. I've got a few videos from the event I'm starting to render, and I'll probably do another massive run here in a little bit. And then I'm going to go back through those same 65-odd videos I did, because <laughs> I think it's about that many or so. My goal was, like, huge. I'm going to go back and take that same video I've already uploaded in Traffic Geyser, find that YouTube link, and share it again, and make sure I don't re-upload it to YouTube again, because um, you don't want a duplicate video, and share that out again. And I've seen some more interaction. I've seen some more um, rankings on some of my videos doing that. So this is um, leveraging the resources using Traffic Geyser, leveraging the resources of your friends and Facebook that you comment. And hey, um, go ahead and message a few people that you're friends with that might comment on that. And establish your credibility when you are ranking, when you show, oh, look, I've ranked for this keyword in your top. I do so many that I, I really try not to um, you know, post so many pictures, but I probably should go back through and just take a bunch of screenshots because I'm just ranking on too many. And how, you know, I didn't even do a social plan on, did that, you know, step plan. I did a few share because you go through and if you, on your blog, you have that share plan, you should go to share Twitter, um, Facebook, stumble upon, you know, just get those different accounts. And I ranked for a guest blog post. So find um, out there different people. And we should probably do that, Ken, and, and guest post on it on each other, and then you'll be sharing that content out as well. So that's several different ways to get out syndication, but it does take a routine, it does take a plan. No matter what promotion you're doing, no matter what live hangout you're doing, you're getting people on this live call. This is important for you to make sure you're building your business to make sure that these certain types of people get in your business, but you always have this like routine that's going to help you say, I showed up in my business every day, um, and no matter what, I did this routine that people will see me in my networks and, and build that. And I think that's important to have some type of um, routine where people can feel 
confident that they trust you where they're going to find you, you know, every day or what's new stuff that they're going to find and follow on you. Especially like on your fan page, you've got to, you know, build out content on that every day. And of course, you're you're sharing that that syndication out on your fan page as well when you're doing all that. Um, so that's a little bit of my routine. There might be a couple other things that I've tapped in to do as well, but that's a pretty basic list. Does that help you, Ken, or um, you have any special syndication stuff that you end up doing that's similar or different, or how is your routine, or do you even have uh, one? What has made you be sure. successful? Yeah, um, so let me go back real quick. Let me share um, just for a couple minutes what I did to come online that started a, a syndication movement for me and what worked out well. And let me show you a little bit um, where I failed and what we're doing to recover. So when I first came online, I had a need to, I had a growing group of like 250, almost 300 people in a current network business. And I, this whole thing, internet thing com was coming on. I'm like, oh, okay, sounds really cool. Leverage, you know, whatever. People were kind of talking about it. And this was about five years ago. And you needed this thing called a blog. And I'm like, okay, well, it, I, I looked at the blogs and the, the landscape was they looked very technical. Things were flashing. Things were buzzing. Th people were talking to you. And, then, and it just looked like, oh, my gosh, I needed to go back to school just to learn this stuff. So I actually had seen that three years early, and I put it off for years because it looked so technical. They were all formal. Some things were, were buzzing. I mean, they were just seemed to be all over the place. Then somebody started telling me about this thing called a personal blog. I went to a, somebody who I started to know online, and she had this way to create a quick personal blog. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And it was just more about her, what she was doing, and she had some tips and tricks and some ideas and a couple of things that she sold. And I'm like, oh, brilliant. I'm like, how do I make one? She's like, well, can you give me a testimonial? And uh, because she's helped, I, I turned around to one other person, and uh, as a guinea pig, I'm like, hey, this is so cool. We had to do a personal blog. He's like, yeah. I'm like, great. Hey, go to this person. And, <laughs> and I didn't do it yet. I was still kind of chicken. Um, and but she's all because you gave me a referral do a testimonial and I'll set you up with a free blog I'm like perfect so we talked back and forth and I, I wrote one out a couple days later we recorded it it was great she loved it and so she set up a blog for me gave me a header and I'm like awesome now what do I do and she's like well that's a whole six week training course on how to set up your blog all she did was give me the template she gave me the, the shell of a blog I had to go back and learn plugins and widgets and, and, and what the difference between posts and pages. I'm like, oh, but I did it. Um, and I kept doing it. And after about uh, four or six weeks, I had two posts up and I had, uh, had a little bit going on. Excuse me. So, <coughs> so anyway, so after I started doing that, I'm like, okay, now how do I get traffic? What's this thing called traffic? And she's like, well, you got to get other people to come see your blog. I'm like, yes, that sounds so exciting. And uh, <laughs> I had no clue how to do that. So I went out into social media, mostly Twitter at the time, and I found a couple of people that had some really cool Twitter backgrounds, and one was Dr. John Alfredson, you know him, um, and I commented on his on his uh, page, and I'm like, that looks really cool. So we connected, and then I had this concept, and I, I kind of went back to my networking days of chasing people around the corner or whatever, and I said, you know what, instead of doing that, why don't I find a way to give things away? So I'm like, okay. I thought to myself, I need traffic. I need eyeballs to my pages. What happens if I give it away? And then maybe it'll come back to me because all these people telling me all about you know marketing is like you know give something away. Move the free line was a big thing that was just starting to come up back then. So I came up with this thing called syndication accountability circles. So that was what I was going to coin SAC at the time, and up turning into be called the tribe. And I, so I attracted Dr. John. He and I went and talked to Kerry Rogney, who was another tribe member of mine. And Kerry brought a couple of people. And in about you know uh, six to eight weeks, we went from like two to three to eight to ten to fourteen, down to ten, down to five people. Went back and forth, just kind of vetting a few people, saying, "Hey, I have this concept. Basically, if I come to your blog, if I buzz up your content and share it all over the place, will you do the same for me?" Right there's the there's the giving it away and it and it'll hopefully it'll come back to me, no strings necessarily but the concept was definitely you know I do yours first and you come back, and uh, everybody loved it and like well how do you do that I'm like well, I don't know I'm making this up as I go along, and so I looked around and I I did some searches you know this thing Google and and was coming up and I was searching some things, and I dialed into about twelve to thirteen different ways to share content. Um, and it was one was leaving a comment, hitting the retweet button, and, and some different things like that. Well, 
within a week, we started getting double-digit comments and retweets to brand new blogs. People were coming in and going, how are you doing this? Because we started saying, hey, my new blog. Everybody else's brand new blog, everybody else's blog that was a year old looked like ghost towns. And what we would do is, night once we started looking at more and more blogs, 90% of them looked like nobody was home. So now we had a battle cry. We had, hey, your blog does not need to look like a ghost town. Why don't you come join us in our little circles here, and we'll create a tribe. Seth, Bowden, Seth Godin's book came out called Tribes. I'm like, oh, perfect. We'll just coin the phrase. And then we put a couple of uh, keywords together that nobody was using yet called tribe syndication. And we started sharing these concepts that's so much so that everybody say, hey, this is great. You guys got to make a product. We're like, a product? We don't, we don't have any, cl any clarity. Um, but we did have Jonathan Budd, our very first mentor online. He was creating products. I'm like, oh, six-week mm -hmm. course. Some of this, some of this, some of this. And yeah, we could do that. Why not? So we created our first product, a test case. Brought in 25 people at 200 bucks a piece. We were like thinking we were rock stars when we closed out. We just want a small group, right? And we told everybody, and we didn't think we could charge $500 yet. So we came in at half, at less than half price. And here is the hook. Are you ready? We told them if you join now at this low price at two, at 199, when we launch or 197, when we launch again a couple months and create a second product, you'll be in as a super affiliate for 50% commission. So, and we had no idea how to do affiliates at the time, but that was our hook. Well, we got 25 people in a week, $200 a piece, so whatever that was, six grand, eight grand or something, and it was like, yes, we're awesome. We create this course, and by the time we actually launched, it was right between Thanksgiving and Christmas, kind of the worst time to launch anything, and instead of six weeks, we compressed it to, th to three weeks. Now, I want you to pay attention to this in just a second. It'll make sense why, but on Monday was our first module. Tuesday was our tribe syndication power hour. Thursday was module two, and Saturday was free Q&A session, four days out of the week, and I'll get back to that in a second. Anyway, so we go through this course. We create tons of testimonials, tons of people getting engagement. We give them a, these keywords to go after, tribe syndication. Our whole group out of 25 of us made enough content to dominate the top 10 pages of Google, not just page one, but the top 10 pages. So I think 95 out of 100 spots on Google was all about tribe syndication for that keyword. Well, that's easy when nobody's looking for it. But two months later, when we launched our second product, not only did we have all this credibility, not only did we have these, these testimonials and vision, we launched at $500. We had 800 people sign up for our first webinar because the five of us took our story from five to 25, and each of the five of us led a tribe group every week. We met and on Skype and showed them how to just syndicate in this 14-step plan. And Alicia just nailed five out of those 14 steps I would use. And so we would take that and we would show them they were getting results. So we had 800 people commit to our first webinar, 700 people commit to our second webinar, and at $500, we brought in almost 75 people. So we made about $35,000 that week. Now, how did that happen? It took a year to, for that rotation to fully happen. And now I have a story. So remember when I said we went back from the five, uh, the module one, module two, four days? Well, here's what we did. And Alicia can talk to, about this when I pass it off to her in just a second. We'll talk about hyper focus and massive action. So we're focused on one thing. Nobody else had time to breathe on anything else because they had to show up or they were going to miss the next module. We didn't even know how to, I think we recorded them, they were all on GoToMeeting, but there's no visuals. It was all, you know, on, on this GoToMeeting stuff. So we kept them extremely busy. If they wanted it, they showed up, they did it, they gave us testimonials. They were now super affiliates, ready to market the next one. So not only did we have the five of us as now leaders, because we were pushed up in the evolution of, I'm brand new, I know a little bit, now I know something, and I'm showing somebody else. We're getting pushed up in that space, and we're st still now starting to do other things. There's another, that's tip number three I'll give you later on, is what can, what's your ROI on your content? Ask me that later, Alicia, because I want to make sure and hit that. So we created the second product. People are getting recognition. We're having people, things come in. Things are happening. So excuse, hold on a second. Excuse me. So now we're, we're hitting our strive. And a lot of other things start kicking in. The momentum has moved on and has shifted to different things. And I'll tell you about that later. But when we get back to the syndication tips, what did we tell them to do? 
we did the tribe concept where I'm going to help you and you're going to help me and we're going to knock it out and I'm going to share it on Twitter, I'm going to share it on Facebook, I'm going to leave a comment. Comments are, were huge back then. They're still big but a little bit different now. We take that comment, copy and paste it to YouTube. When you go to retweet, retweet the My Story page, retweet my resource page. You know, even though it's a money page, you still the the concept. It's a family. So when you're buzzing up somebody, I can go to Alicia's blog if I wanted to take a post, share it on five, six different platforms, um, leave a comment, all of them about 10, 15 minutes. Hyper focus on that, and that's what we taught. So, uh, excuse me. <coughs> Ah, sorry, cold. just getting hope. Just getting over cold. Yeah. But the the tip I want to capitalize on that Alicia talked about is one, you know, coming in every day, having a plan. Your plan can be totally scalable. So when Alicia has a huge goal, it doesn't mean you need to create sixty videos in a month. Now that's great. Awesome. <coughs> Excuse me, I'd say go for it. But Whatever your daily method of operation is, if it's sharing on f your content on five things, do it. If it's sharing five ways on five things, do it. We can lay out a massive, massive plan for you, but the thing is you got to start somewhere. So commit to sharing on two or three social sites. Commit to sharing from your blog. So hit all the share points on your blog because in that way nobody sees a zero count when they show up to your blog. Very important. And make sure that you attract other people that you can like share with as well. That leverage is free and highly leverageable, and most people don't do it. So, anyway, I'm going to turn it back over to you so I can get a drink of water. Oh, that's golden. And and that's the thing. So many people are afraid of, you know, sharing other people's content. And especially, like you said, money pages. And I think if they see... Um, you be an example out there and being doing it and sharing other people there I've only had like I think one person um, come to me and say why did you share this other person's stuff are you doing what they're doing um, or whatever and I think that's more credible for them to come to you and ask um, what what are you doing why are you sharing this other person's stuff I really like what you're doing and I think that's more um, has that You've already established that credibility when people are able to come to you and, and do that. So share as much stuff as you can, and especially your team. I have a strategy where um, I go into Twitter feed and make sure I get the RSS feed of my entire team and take their blog post and add it to my automatic Twitter feed, and whenever they do in a blog post, I'm able to retweet it, and I've set that up in a way where that's automated. And um, so that's why I don't really share some of those automatic stuff because I go in there and I have a manual plan that I share it. So I believe in you know having some stuff um, automated <laughs> as well as manual, and I think people will start to catch and and not really see the difference if you are out there yourself commenting and being active on those different platforms like you said. So how do you show um, what your is ROI, return on investment, if what you're doing in the share plan is, is really going to be worth it and you know how can you test your really results in some of these things that we're doing? You know, How do you say, oh this is working and this is not working? Uh, for me, the, the the thing I like to make sure and people that remember is there's some people are going to come in and we say, you know, blog daily, tell others and make money, right? So <clears throat> the blog daily is, is okay, a lot of people get that concept. I need to put, what do I blog about? Well, there's all kinds of things you can blog about and then there's all th kinds of things you might want to blog about to attract the right person. So there's a little bit of difference when we say blog daily. First, if you're brand new to blogging, Pick a concept, pick uh, a niche, uh, niche being uh, an area of things that you like to talk about. It could be gardening, maybe you want to create a gardening blog, it could be social media, maybe you want to talk about a blog about social media. Let me give you my two cents on that. Is the hills of Tennessee. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> or horses, or the or hills horses. of Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So my learning over the last five years, I started with one blog, and I talk, I like talking about social media, traffic, uh, syndication, obviously. I love the way we can share things, but my biggest failure was we were just talking about mechanics 
four years ago. When we brought all that and all that uh, stuff I told you that I had received and we, we built up was all about mechanics. It wasn't anything about what you should do with it. It wasn't about where your vision should be. It was just about here's what you do. It was a checklist. <clears throat> and we're giving that now, but what I want to make sure and add on is your ROI on that checklist. If you look at that checklist and you think, oh, I'm done, then you, all you've done is just the mechanics of it. If you look at just one step above, take one degree and look a little bit differently, what is it that you want to get from this? Well, in my opinion, every time you put content out online, you should serve one purpose, uh, really a couple of purposes, but the main thing is to build your list. If you're brand new, this is something we totally missed when we did all our trainings was building a list. Totally blew it out of the water. Didn't even think about it because we were so focused on mechanics. We weren't focused on monetizing, we weren't focused on attracting the right people to us to build our networks. We were focused on the mechanics. So where we had missed, we you know our, if we went to our well we did we went to our um, our our uh, mentor so to speak and he's like you guys are doing great stuff. This was after the fact, but you totally blew it. We got an F on what we missed. We got an A on our execution, but an F on the bigger picture. And we're like, it was like a light bulb went off. A two by four hit us in the head. One little thing change it, and I'm creating a guest post now that anybody that wants to align with us will be able to leverage this guest post, and we'll do another webinar hangout for it. But the one degree of separation is you want to build your list, you want to gain that credibility in the marketplace, and that those two alone will set you up and allow you to crush your competition because, like Alicia's already alluded to, Nobody else is really doing it this way. I mean, some people are, but the masses are not, and it's not that difficult. So what does that mean? Well, your ROI is are you getting leads from your YouTube videos? Are you getting leads from your blog posts? Is your blog post set up in a way that people want to share it because there's good value in there? There's a good call to action that says, hey, if you like this, subscribe to my channel. If you like this, join my newsletter so I can make sure and get you the next syndication tip I do. Whatever it is, you need to be thinking one step ahead like a chess move. I want to attract people into my list. I want to attract them into my life. I want to partners that I can then help other people reach their goals, right? It's not about you making $10,000 a month. It's about you helping them. When you do that, your content will read just a little differently and you won't even recognize it at first until you get good at the personal development. But when you look up and you say, here's my end game is aligning with people, it's not the content. The content is one step to get you there. Your end result is wanting to get people to you. So your ROI, now so what I mentioned about that, going back to all that stuff that I did, that story that I just shared with you, <clears throat> my ROI was I was able to become a, uh, a, le a trainer for Jonathan Budd and for Katie. We helped launch the Unified Tribe four years ago, took fifth on a massive um, affiliate contest with just five of us right after Jonathan Budd and Mike Diller, huge marketing guys. Um, we were able to get other guest post opportunities. We were able to reach positions one and two and the next level positions in our network business. So it wasn't about the content. It wasn't even about how we were helping people. Our next step was actually even bigger than that. It's like, where is this going to take us? How can I leverage these stories to get to the next spot? So here's my third tip that I wanted to share is that your ROI, you need to be thinking ahead. If you're brand new, the first thing is I need to build a list. If you're building a list, the next thing is I need to be building credibility. That means I need posture, confidence. I need things out in the marketplace like testimonials. Don't be afraid to ask for them. If you're giving value, get some testimonials and swap testimonials if you have to. Whatever you need to do to get 10, 20 testimonials floating around all over for you. Then the next thing is you need to be able to help those. Join on a webinar like Alicia and I are doing right now. Help each other out. So when I launch my huge guest pillar post that anybody that aligns with us can use to build their list, Alicia and I will probably do another couple of hangouts on it because it's going to be so massive, we're going to be able to need to share and break it down how you can leverage it. So that's where you need to be looking up. That's your ROI, not that I got my post done and I did my syndication. Those are great steps. And by the way, when you say tell others, right, blog daily, tell others and make money, the telling others is your marketing. Writing a blog post is not marketing. Syndicating your blog post is marketing. Telling others, hey, I got this new blog post. You might want to check it out. And by the way, if you leave me a comment, I'll come back and leave you a comment. That's telling others. That's your marketing. So 
Don't get caught up in the, the steps. The steps are great. A lot of people need the steps that Alicia's already lined out, but they're missing the picture if you think that's your end game. And I tell you, you're totally being honest. If I was coaching you right now, your end game is not. You're missing it if you're focusing on that. Just do one step, look a little bit higher. So anyway, I could jump on the soapbox all day because I, I missed it for a couple of years, and I'm getting it now. I got the 2 by 4 Lawrence is, uh, is going, dude, come on, let's go, let's go, let's hit this. So anyway, that, yes, there's my and that is tip. A hot topic right now, golden tips. Thank you again. And there are people that get caught up in several different parts of this process. One, the very powerful, is not really understanding that end process of where they want to go. That could be deterring the rest of the way, but also the other little steps. Going, I got to create content. You know, what is that? You know, I get stuck on what what to talk about, what to write, what if I should, even should make a video. So that's a stopping point. And then another day to figure out, oh, I've got to go and actually log on Facebook and figure out, you know, where to find that group again and then where are those notes that I could put no just the, the process of it. So I think it is kind of a, a learning curve. Some people go through just that process and Ken's pushing you through the massive fastest way that you can put it through. But there's also a huge, huge um, I guess a new trending thing that a lot of people are doing is leveraging team blogs. So if you think, um, oh, I have to have my own personal blog, and um, yes, you do, but you can also leverage a team blog. And I think Ken talked about it a little bit, but you don't have to feel like you're um, have to blog on it every day. You can just insert your. In fact, I'm due to do a couple more team blogs. <laughs> There's a couple more team members I gotta write some content for but you you can submit your content be that establish that authority on that blog and everybody in that team is going to go through that syndication strategy that you're going to be doing so if you can align with us and leverage a team blog and you know be all in cyber business so you can be on top of putting your content out there even if you have to go to Fiverr or pay someone else to create that content of um, be a keyword that you're thinking of being topic or doing, um, you can put your stuff out there to establish that credibility and everybody's going to share it and you're going to share it as well and it, it makes, um, I want to say it makes life easier. <laughs> you don't have to worry about all that technical stuff that Ken just went through because it is not what the ROI finding you out here is is the technical stuff. It's who you are, your passion, and sharing where you're going. So I have a passion to help 10 people to join me in this next event because we're going places. We're going to have this massive um, change in our lives that I want to move to other places. I want to be able to travel. I want to do more things with my daughter. There's ways to keep your establishability out um, that this is dependent on you making people follow people are going in that direction and you want to share that passion out there um, when you're doing this and they usually are aligned with my people and they're gonna like you sharing your stuff so it's huge to see that ROI not only your traffic will go up like I said your business will reap rewards and um, there's so much more that you can leverage when you go out there and you're sharing other people's content um, just as much so like I said I share my content, but I'm going to like five other places and sharing theirs as well. So I only do a hit, you know, share on, on my blog, but I'm going to five, ten more places out there as well. So if you think of that, reap more, help more people. If you don't think your stuff is getting out there, go help more people out there sharing their stuff. And I think that like flickered out, opened the eyes for me. I am not sharing other people's content enough and therefore they're not seeing my value. So go out and keep sharing more love. Even if you don't think you've shared any content today, um, start and keep going. She keep sharing that content out there. And so you've got a huge vision out there, Ken, of what's going on. We set clear expectations of what people want to see. So what um, vision are you creating with um, your team of you know how you're creating the best um, return on their investment, not only in their time, but the the investment that they're going to be paying you to help make this happen for their lives. 
You know, that's a great question. Um, <clears throat> we're all about team focus, right? And especially with what you were talking about, you know, we're with Empower Network has relaunched. The, whether you're an Empower Network or not, you know, I would highly take a look at it because what they've just changed in the compensation plan, and you think 100% was good, but it's not that they can add more money to that, but the structure they change and the reason they change is that, <coughs> excuse me, in my opinion, they're looking above. They're looking that one degree above and going, how can I make this better? They're looking down deep into the organization saying, how can I help the brand new people? And this is exactly what we're doing on our team blogs as well, is that some of us have figured something out. You know, you talk to Alicia, she's figured out this content syndication, she's figured out a, a daily method of operation that works from her. Constant tweaking as we're, we will all do, but she's in the game every day and she's sharing that with her team. Same thing I am doing with my massive, massive pillar post that I'm doing for LT. I'm actually going to create a second post right behind it that's going to link to it, that's going to show you exactly how to leverage this post. And this is where we'll do another hangout. And I really encourage people, if you want to share content, here's another tip for you, is that you can create little micro commercials that lead to that content. And this is a great way for you to get value at the same time you're leveraging somebody else. So in other words, remember, we were all, I used to be just concerned with the mechanics. And everybody was getting their checklist done. Now it's about value. And it's about social engagement. If you follow, I am right now heavy into Gary Vaynerchuk's Right, jab, 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 right hook, and it's about context, not about content so much. Well, staying in the context of platforms is huge. So how do you do that? How do I go to share, um, Sherry? How do I go to share Alicia's post? Well, what if I take one of her videos and she talks about some, <coughs> excuse me, she talks about some Facebook marketing tips, and I take one of those tips and I do like a 90-second video commercial on it, and I say, hey, if you want more tips click on this post. It's going to give you nine more tips just like this. And I do that same commercial nine more times. Hopefully you guys are getting it writing this down because this is a huge aha moment that I got when I looked at somebody's 10 tips for whatever. I would take a micro and I can either do a video and just say, hey, check out this next, the rest of the post. Here's tip number one and then here's tip number two. Do it again, do it again. Now I got 10 pieces of content that's linking back to that link. Excuse me. Awesome. Do you put like a capture page and make sure you get the leads to follow up with them that they got the next content? You can, absolutely. And I we didn't even touch that. That's like a ma that's a master tip. I'm not even doing that yet, but that <laughs> capture page is great. But here's where I was going with that. If I just share Alicia's post, <clears throat> that's good stuff. If I share a post where I'm actually going to get benefit as well, that's even better. So am I sharing? So on LT's blog, he's got the or this guest blog that Alicia was talking about. <clears throat> you can share a content with your customized link where you get all the leads from it. Now think about this for a second. Hopefully this will just blow your mind like it did me. And the reason I jumped on, I'm giving him my very best five years in the making piece of content because. It's going to show you how step by step to not only syndicate, how to syndicate, where to syndicate so that you get leads and you didn't even have to create all the content. All you did was create little commercials for it. Commercial could be a short video. It could be a reframed piece post on Facebook or status. In other words, I will show you how to, re how to frame a piece of content and that people will engage you with, um, all that kind of stuff. So. I would totally align with Alicia, jump in our team, and as soon as this post leverage gets out, she'll be able to show you how to leverage this in a massive way that can build your business. And you didn't have to learn how to do all the blogging. You didn't have to learn how to create content, what type of content to create. It's all going to be there for you. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Never before kind of everybody had their own... Um, cookied stuff ready for them. It's so exciting to say, look, you got you got stuff ready for you. Just share it with the people you know. Even 
if you think you're on the no friends left club <laughs> because yes we've yeah. been there you're like I, like my sister I'm tired what are you doing now you know <laughs> where is this thing really gonna work and say you see it I just wanted to show you what I'm doing and that can be really all it's at something where they see of what you're doing you know because you have to tell people no matter what and then we have those the secret garden golden um, leveraged resources of training to get in front of Pacific niche topics like with the keywords what are those uh, Pacific audience searching for with those the exact keywords and we want to make sure that hey if there is some a product that you're leveraging that you absolutely love hey we want you to promote what you love that you know, passive income that is already working for you. You know, I, I love teaching piano and I use these same concepts and I dominated my area. People will Google online, what's a piano teacher in this area? And I dominated that search page. <laughs> they found me, okay? <laughs> So rock on. Now I've got to find another dominating area but if I want to pick that up. So I haven't really dominated that yet, but I know I, I've moved to a new area and I could go dominate that again because I've learned these resources. You can not take away the skills that you learn with the products that we can get you inside for. So if you see a link below, if you're on this cookie page that you can leverage with your team and share if you thought these tips were valuable for you, um, go ahead and click in and just get your cookie link, your username, and share it out there. Um, if there's um, the one that we want to share with you most that it's the, the products that you go under and you learn the educated skills that no one can take that away from you. No matter what your investment, you're investing in your skill set so that you are powerful enough that no one else will take that away um, no matter what you invest in. And I think that's what made me more valuable instead of going and buying this crazy solo ad system that is going to bring you emails um, from all this guru, I don't know what all stuff, because I don't even look at that stuff anymore, but <laughs> there's some stuff that you invest 30, $300 for maybe 600 clicks, and that's a lot of money from when you can take in on the education that you can learn that will make you um, 10 times more than that money. So learn what you can leverage in your skill set to take you much farther than um, something I would say junk traffic maybe like that <laughs> but you want something targeted traffic for what's gonna work for you and what you are gonna promote cuz see I'm, I just had this last weekend you are awesome at you know SEO and I found you doing this pictor pictorial I was looking for different um, you know ways to put pictures online and I found your long epic blog post and you really ranked and I found it in several places and they're like I really want to do that and dominate my company and so we'll just you know join in and I'll show you some of my you know secret strategies and then they were like whoa I'm joining her now and I have to promote another thing along with what I'm doing and that's really not it you're getting the inside coaching and resources that we have available and go share what you love we want to actually help people that want to target a certain um, company or a certain niche that really want to know how to dominate and I think that was that's more powerful to me to help people in a Pacific um, plan of action that I've already decided that I love this company and I want to do that and I want to make sure it's all compliant for it to work for you and I think there's a lot of people that if they join um, this other person and what they're training it it might go um, they might be not compliant with other other company I want to just you know clarify that um, that you're getting the, the educated resources of how you can make sure that you're leveraging the right resources in the right way to um, make sure that you are credible in the, the information that you have to share about what you're passionate about because that's what we're sharing about passionate about sharing these and cool syndication strategies that we've learned all these technical stuff we've, we've gone through the technical know-how and it is uh, pain-wrenching <laughs> mistakes that we've gone through because you, you learn through that just through the learning curve and we want to share with you that vision that we have 
out there on the internet. So I'm so thankful everybody that came on and heard the frogs in the background that I have going on. You know, again, I thought they were sheep out here the other night. <laughs> they were bawling so big. I was like, no, those are frogs. <laughs> they were all laughing hey, at me. That's There's funny. too many there's too many sheep out there. I was like, no, they're frogs. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> so they're pretty loud out here. They said, we need to go bullfrog shooting so we can eat some frog legs pretty soon. <laughs> There's so many frogs. <laughs> awesome. So they're all laughing at me. I'm the, totally not a country girl, so <laughs> another out of my mouth. <laughs> so any other last tips before we shut it off here, kid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Um, yeah, again, I just want to make mention that uh, look at your ROI. You know, we're going to be here a year from now. Make sure and get plugged into the game. Take and apply the information that you learn because knowledge on ice is way worse than ignorance on fire. So doing something is better than doing nothing. But take the information that you're going you're to be getting your hands on and actually apply it. And realize your ROI is bigger than just your piece of content and your checklist to get it out there. You're the, and I heard this on a movie. The thing, it's you know, the, somebody was building a computer and it says that's not the thing. So think of your blog is not the thing. It's the thing that gets you to the thing. Always be looking at one step ahead, and I guarantee you, you will crush your com your competition because most people don't. They look at. You can see this now. Now that you know this information, in fact, I challenge you. Go look online. Go look at people's blogs. You will instantly be able to tell who is marketing and who is not. If you got lots of content out there and it's just zeros and there's no engagement, then they need help. You can actually reach out to them, bring them into your team with Alicia, and you can be able to help them tell them, hey, get the information, and you and I are going to work on this new syndication concepts that, we're, that we just learned. That's collaboration. That is looking at one step ahead. And then do your daily checklist like you're supposed to. Do your marketing. And when you do create a piece of content, get that marketing out there. And as soon as I release this guest post, Alicia will be in contact with everybody because I know she's gonna, she and I are going to tear it up because you're going to be able to make a bunch of little commercials for all over the place. That's your, Even if you don't know anything, you're going to look at, I'm going to give you a list of 60 to 70 little golden nuggets. You're going to be able to take and make a commercial on each one of them. So if you think that's pretty cool, that you don't have to learn all this blogging right off the bat, you don't have to learn all this content right off the bat, we're going to target market bloggers and marketers and network marketers for you and help sell Empower Network for you. If you think that's cool, I definitely would align with Alicia right now. Everything so that's it. So I got sorry for coughing all over the place, but I'm so glad we were able to hang, hang out and connect. I am so jazzed about this stuff that, again, I've been teaching this on and off for four years. So uh, I'm, I'm glad to be back in the game, and uh, believe me, I am going to be putting out some value myself over the next 30, 60 days off of my own post. And I, here, in fact, here I'm going to take a claim right now. As soon as we launch this post, hopefully in the next couple of days, in 30 days, we're going to have 10,000 views through this one blog post. I guarantee it. And I know LT is going to help. I know you're going to help. And I know a couple other people are going to help. The, the question is, the people that are on this listening to this right now that now know this information, even the highlights, even if you don't get it, you know that there's something there that you can lock, lock your hands on. If you want that, you can be a part of those 10,000 views as well because I know we're going to nail it. So I jump More in. Than but that. I'm going to push to 14,000. You can do yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just upped it from 5,000 to 10,000 because it's a brand new blog. <laughs> LTs, it's been about a month now. And there's a, yeah. a handful of posts that you can actually take now and promote and get yeah. the traffic. But with this post, it's all about content marketing, social media, and how to blog, what to put on your blog. I mean, it's like... It's crazy. It's it's my biggest biggest super pillar post ever. Um, and I don't even need to know what that means. But yeah, it, I'm just yeah. So that's jazzed. like a lot of words, like three thousand plus. You know? uh, yeah, we're close it's to just... five thousand words. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's one of those where you're gonna lose your mind in it. But the cool thing is, and nobody's no even LT doesn't know this yet. When you link to the bottom, where I have this button that'll show you how to maximize this post. I give you a total behind the curtains breakdown of what to do. So, yikes! I'm so excited. It gives me chills. I'm yeah, shaking over here. 
<laughs> so Thank excited, you. Ken. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing it. And definitely make sure you get on our list so you can make sure you get um, a hold of this next epic post that we're about to share of all these step-by-step -step that you can do. So make sure you are subscribed and see us in our next show. Thanks so much, Ken. And I'll cut it off here, and we'll have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh,